Yo, what's going on guys? EK9 here, bringing you guys another video. So today we're going to do something a little bit different than usual, but we are going to be focusing on what it takes to be a Div 1 player. I know some of you have been asking me, how do I get so good, what it takes. I've been playing NHL since NHL 11, and since the division systems have been around, I've been in Division 1 each year. Haven't been top top in the world, but... Uh, we've been average, always hitting Div 1, and as you guys can see in our Hot Rivals, we are in Div 1. So today what we're going to do is we're going to end up playing a game in online seasons, not in Hot Rivals, and dissecting what a decent player in about Division 5, how they play, and what they need to do to get better. And I will teach you guys, in case you guys are in the, the lower division, what mistakes you guys need to correct in order to become a top player. So in these division online seasons i've only ended up playing i think like 26 games we haven't lost yet we're 26 and 0 but we will see what what the mistakes that they make and how to correct it what you guys need to do better and how to play because this game is a tricky game to play it's a lot of strategy and a lot of stuff i know a lot of you think it's just well you need a great team well a great good team helps but a great team doesn't make a great player and that's what a lot of people don't seem to understand sometimes and also people say well glitch goals yeah glitch goals do help when you get in the slot there and you can snipe at top shelf but in division one hockey you're not going to get a lot of glitch goal opportunities you can watch the gaming world championships and you'll see the way that they play isn't all glitch goals they play very smart hockey they have a lot of pressure they play very smart conservative hockey and they they look for open chances that they can create with their uh, passing so we're going to take a look see how this guy that we match up against plays and like I said to you guys this is going to be a division 5 game we're going to take a look and see what they can do better and watch a little bit of our gameplay as well so let's just see how this goes it's been a while since I've played in the lower divisions uh, but uh, I think the last time we played was in our division I think it was called our road to division one series and I only made one video of it and that was the last time we played online seasons so this is gonna be a <laughs> interesting for both of us here guys and here we are on the face off so we win the draw one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make smart passes up the ice you're not gonna wanna rush the play see how this guy comes with his defenseman and he's and he's chasing us the whole time you're not going to want to just chase. See how we open up that ice? So here he comes. Passes it right to us. That's another thing. You want to take your time with passes. Wait till something opens up for you. See how we're... He's just coming in on us. He's just chasing us. You don't want to do that. We pick it up. We turn it over. That's a mistake on my part though. And see how he just rushes it up the ice? You're not going to want to do that guys. You want to take your time with the puck. Wait for things to open up for you. Here, there's a smart play by him. He sees that we're not pressuring him enough, and he comes up the ice. So now, take our time. Nice outlet. He comes and chases. Now we get a one-on-one -on -one because of that. He, he gets out of the play. Here he goes again. He's chasing too much. That's another tip, guys. Watch how we play defense. We don't rush to him. We let him come to us, and we just take away that zone pressure. Here we go. He's got his defense out, nowhere to be found. We got a good chance. He throws it to the side. But see how he, there it is again. He forces that pass to the middle. It's a lot of mistakes that a lot of new people make or players that are struggling is they, they rush the play way too much and he's doing it. He's done it about, I'd say about 10 times already. And there it is again, rushing that play up the ice. The key to being good at the game is being patient plays open up all the time in hockey yeah, and it's the same with the NHL you don't want to rush a play all that much create suicide passes all that trying to look for for uh for a play but see send it down low don't be afraid to pass that puck down low look for that guy that's open see he finds his open man see how we don't go up and pressure too much rather than there but there it is. See, we, we read the back door. And now we carry it in. Another thing I recommend as well 
is don't be afraid to use your X. Your X can be one of your best friends in this game. I know a lot of people resort to the R1s and they take a lot of penalties because they're caught spamming the R1 button or anything like that. Your X, in my opinion, is a lot safer than your R1, depending on the circumstance. If they're coming to pressure you, then obviously you're going to want to uh, use your R1 sometimes. But you're battling in the corner, anything like that. Don't be afraid to use your X. This guy just tries to deke. See, we see this man up the ice. Patterson's gone. So now we got the opportunity. See how we're slow? We slow the play down. We look. We make him decide. Is he going to take the pass? Is he going to take the shooter? So being very cautious with our, with our playmaking is definitely something that we all can work on. And he's... There it is. Look at that. Nice play by him there to get inside uh, pressure. But always being aware of what to do. Don't be afraid to just throw the puck around. And there it is. He ends up scoring the first goal of the game. Bad play by me. I forced the puck up the middle. That's another mistake that a lot of players do make. I'm guilty of that myself. Is where you want to when you're in your press, uh, when you're in the defensive zone and you're being pressured, your first instinct is to get that puck out of there. But sometimes we make the wrong passes. We try and force it up the middle. We see a bit of an opening, but it's not necessarily the right play. So anyways, here we go. He's pressuring way too much. He's playing two, two on the... Uh, too much focusing the body and not the puck. So there's, there's where we'd use our R1. So now we're in the corner. There's our X. We can send it around. We realize that he's going to come and challenge us. Boom. Good try. Good luck. And there's another mistake that a lot of people make as well. Is throwing that puck out way too way too frequently. You want to make sure that you're not throwing it out all the time. And, and making costly mistakes. So as we look at... He's making some good passes there. This is, this is some good hockey for Division 5. He's playing decent. But again, he's, he's getting himself out of position way too much. Trying to take away our uh, our chances by hitting us. And that's not always the best case. There we go. Notice how we don't give him any really offensive pressure. And there he comes again. There's a couple times there he's been caught out of uh, position. And that's huge. All of those chances we got, we didn't end up scoring. But if you guys haven't noticed, we're all over this this game. He got a nice little deflection there we we ended up suffering and he scored on one shot he's only had one shot because of a defensive pressure so that's some of the key things that we can take away from this game is how well how well you are at at decision making when you're being pressured do you throw the puck up the ice do you do you turn it over in your zone because those are huge. Turnovers are massive in this game. You don't want to be making turnovers all the time, especially in your own end. It's when, when you don't have to. Always look around. There's always probably going to be at least one guy open somewhere. And you don't want to just go up the middle every single time. So here we go. I tried to move that up there, but I, I missed it. So see how we're not... We're not giving him too, too much. He's had two minutes in our zone, and he's got one shot. So see, circle it back, and try and read what your opponents do. So since I know that he's going to come at me almost every single time, I know, I know how to juke around him. So, boom, back door, there it is. So it's just knowing what your opponent does. So coming into the zone, I know he's going to come at me for the hit. This guy is going for the hit every time. He's getting himself out of position. Most Div 1 players don't usually take the body. They play the puck. When you play the puck, when they're coming into the offensive zone, it, it keeps you in better position. Because if you miss that hit, it's now a 2-on-1 one, one, or 3-on-2 or anything like that and when you get those odd man rushes more frequently like we've had I think of at least 10 of them this game it opens up the ice more and it, it makes you more prone to get a goal scored against you so notice how I always tend to use the defense always 
No matter what I'm doing, I always try and get my defense on the, uh... Off the, uh, face-off. So notice, passing around, try to find what's open. There it is, Lafreniere. Can't bury, though. So, see, there he goes. He tries to get that puck out of the ice. He tries to get it out of his own. Nothing. And then we almost score, like, three times because of it. And boom. There we can use the body. He's got nowhere to go. But we settle it down. We play it back to our defense. And we regroup. Instead of just throwing the puck out, trying to make something happen, trying to be all fancy, like, it's all about knowing. Don't be, don't be afraid to just hold on to the puck sometimes. Move it around. Move it back to your defense. Reset the, reset the play. So see, we reset. Pass it out. Nice little saucer pass. And there we go. We're off to the races. Get a nice chance. Let's see, he carries it in. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to come at me every single time. Every time he's going for that, that hit. That time he gets us. There, he gets a nice chance there. That was a smart play by him. He waited us out. There it is. Again, he forced us to the outside there. Smart by him. Nothing there. We'll hold. See, the reason why I didn't pass that puck out, guys, is because he has the main uh, position covered. He's got both sides with his one player in front of the net there. And if I were to pass that out, it gives him a good chance to maybe put one by us because he's got the inside position. So see how I carried it up? Not too scared to just hold on to it. We can go to Eichel. Eichel's got a nice chance on net there. He's, he's playing way too passive with the puck, trying to carry that in. He's not making enough moves. Right there, we could have did something, but we didn't. And it's starting to lag a bit for us. Patterson, good pressure on him. But see that, right up the ice, Lemieux's wide open. See, he goes for the hit again. See how badly he was out of place when he goes for that hip check? Position the positioning game is one of the hardest things and one of the things that I find with the lower end players is their uh, Is their positioning on the defensive end their offensive game isn't as terrible. You notice this guy comes in He's got some good opportunities. He's had a couple nice chances. So he's got his offensive game down But defensively he's playing way too out of his out of the uh, what he should be doing with positioning wise and look at there we go again we're getting a nice opportunity we're cutting to the net getting great looks although we're not scoring Bishop's been playing pretty good nice try saucering that but again he forced the he forced the pass and we're out of the zone and here we go again he's the main thing is is right there he made a good play whenever you're playing defense and it's a two-on-one Always pick either the pass or pick the shooter. I recommend trying to get closer to the shooter and maximize the chance that he doesn't get that glitch goal. Because if he gets that snipe off, more than likely, they do end up scoring when they're in that high slot. But if you try and just get into the zone where you can maybe get enough room to try and take away that pass and you force him to try and take the pass, if you're in a good enough position, you're probably going to defend it. But you don't want to give him the clear shot. So you don't, but you, the main thing is you want to pick one of the two. You don't want to just stand there and, and just guess. You want to either take the shooter or take the pass and, and make a decision. So right there, see, we, that time he tries to rush to us. We realize that he doesn't react in time. We get that pass across the Nekas and now Nekas finishes. So most of these errors that they're making, like that lower, division players make are in the defensive zone and it's so crucial most of the things that we can dissect from this game alone is he's playing the body too much he's going for that hit number eight he's going for the hit again instead of covering the middle there and just and just trying to defend that pass he goes for the body and then that throws everyone out of no one's covering Nekas. he's wide open in front of the net 
and we get a quick goal because of it. Secondly, this guy's forcing the pass way too much. He's making crucial mistakes. His passing percentage, I guarantee you, isn't that high, guys. 70%. Look at our passing. 97%. We're, we're connecting on passes. We're making plays up the ice. We're not afraid to, you know, be patient. This guy also, he's not shooting a lot. When he's getting into the zone and he's not making any chances with the, he's just carrying it in the zone. You're not going to get any, you're not going to win games without shooting. If you guys feel that you can't get anywhere, they're playing the trap on you, they're playing anything like that, and that you can't get any pressure, throw the puck on net. Try and maybe force a play in the corner. Anything like that. If you win a puck battle, it can easily lead to a goal. And there was almost a costly mistake on our part. Works out in our favor, and boom, John Carlson. Nice play, nice goal. But it's that defensive presence where is the defense on those last two or three goals that we've scored it's non-existent and i feel like that's what you guys a lot of you that do tend to be in the lower divisions that's your mistake see here he comes again where is he he's playing the body he's not giving he's giving us way too much room and we're just taking care of it even here where is he no pressure and we can easily just throw this to the point Throw it back down low and play play it around. Waste time. And then we get back. That we He instantly turns it over because he's trying to rush the play too much. And notice, just take our time. Be nice and slow with the passes. It's not, it's like a lot of people might think it's considered like ragging or, or anything like that. But if you guys are just, you know, slowing down the play, you're allowed to slow down the play. And see there, we make a costly mistake. He scores because of it. And that sometimes that can be a downside as well, but it as long as you guys you know know your know your game a little, don't be afraid to just you know slow the play down, take your time. Like see, always every face off, almost every time I start it with the defenseman, I move it back. But you, sometimes when you guys do reach higher divisions, they're gonna read that. If you keep doing it. They'll, re they'll know exactly what you're doing. Because you, the main thing is you want to know your opponent. And that's what we've, we've realized here. This guy. Always playing, always playing the body. He's giving us way too much zone time. Because he's just going for hits. He's getting himself way out of position. There it is. We got a nice snipe because of it. And like I said, the glitch goals help. But if you guys know to play, your, play the puck and not the man. You can get in position to block that. Just by just by using your R1. It's these little mistakes that are so crucial in games. And they're going to haunt you until you realize what you're doing wrong. When I used to play uh, in NHL 11, I used to lose almost every single game I played. I was not good at all. I was not a good hot player until probably NHL 13. But you got to delve into your games and, and know your notice your mistakes. So see... I'm not get, I'm not pressuring him that much. I'm giving him that. See, get my guys in position to block. We know he's gonna go for slap shots. He's gonna try now getting the puck on the net. And there it is, a big turnover by us. But we we can just easily counter that and get a look at that. We went from almost getting scored on to getting the puck into his zone and just about scoring ourselves in the span of a few seconds, just because. We're not afraid to just, you know, slow the play down a bit and not try and rush it up all the time. One of the things is, is rushing that play. You don't want to rush the play that much. So right there, see, if I were to pass it back and reset, I wouldn't have turned that puck over. So I move it to Eichel. Let's get that puck on. Oh, he got the hit there. But that he that's what we were trying to do. We move it down low. Get that in front. I almost score because of it. It's the, it's little little plays. See right there. See how I passed it out and he had that inside pressure. Those are a lot of costly mistakes too. Giving up those weak weak goals. See he throws it out. That could have been costly if we had someone there, but good play on his part. We rush that. Boom. Oh, we almost scored there. 
See, he read that D to D pass. If we would have passed that across and we would have been, and we would have thrown it to our other defenseman, he would have got a breakaway. So when you see, I know a lot of people go D to D. You got to know when to do it. If that ice is wide open and you don't think they can get to it, then go for that pass. But if not, move the puck back down low. Either sauce it down low, play it behind the net. You know, hopefully you get a guy skating to it. You got a good forecheck going. Or or th just throw it down to your center. Anything like that. But don't don't try and uh, don't get caught up in turnovers just because you think you can make that pass across if you can't. So I just, I got nothing there. Just try a little dipsy do. And since we're on the penalty kill, we don't want to be too aggressive. Right? So Miller almost lets that in. A bit of a weak one. But yeah, those are the three main errors that we've dissected. Is rushing the puck up the ice, taking the taking the man, and uh, and forcing forcing the play. So right there, I caught cause a turnover, but I reset. I don't see anything. Dump it down. He's playing aggressive. We almost get a almost a split breakaway there. But yeah, so. There it is. And if you guys have any questions regarding what I'm saying, I know I, I know I repeated myself quite a bit, but that's how you guys learn. Is you learn through those mistakes and, and you need to to understand that. And I'm not trying to pick on this guy. This guy wasn't terrible for a Div Five player, by all means. But he's making some crucial errors in the game. That are really reflective of this game. Nice, nice play there. See how he cut there. He wasn't. A, he he was pretty patient. If he would have been more like that the entire game, he wouldn't have been, you know, losing as badly. Because it's just those little mistakes. A lot of you guys can play offense. A lot of you guys know how to score. You guys know how to do the glitch goals, but it's knowing what to do. Regardless of the offensive game, a lot of it's a defensive, forcing the passes out. Um, Breakouts, you know, just try to get, just try to rush the puck up the ice. Slow it down. Take your time. Uh, play, play the puck. Play man to man. D you know, use get in front of them. Don't hit. You know, try if you got if you got that wide open hit, then by all means, but don't go out of your way to try and hit somebody just for the sake of hitting them. Because if you miss that hit, you're way out of position. And uh, yeah, we've seen it multiple times. And those are the those are a little bit of mistakes. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. So if we see the stats, we helped pass them 90 to 70 percent. Time and attack were double. 31 to nine were the shots. See how we had way more hits than us though. Well, the 28 hits don't really matter when we got 31 shots on net. And we got you know he's got nine and we're double him in the zone, right? The hits don't matter. So stop trying to force that hit. Trying to make that nice hit because if you miss the hit. And you cause that two on one, you get scored on. You're not gonna, you're not gonna move up the ranks because if you do that multiple times a game, well, you're gonna have to keep digging yourself out of a hole. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts. If you guys have any questions about gameplay or anything like that, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than uh, welcome to answer any of those questions. And we're so close to 350 subs, guys. So if you guys haven't already subbed to the channel. Make sure to sub. We got some awesome content coming up. Uh, so don't miss out on that, guys. See you guys soon.